Good morning, uh, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Frey. Uh, my, uh, today, we are going to discuss about uh, instrumentation, data gathering tools, and techniques in quantitative and method. Research instrument for quantitative research. There are varied types of research instruments that we can use and these instruments make sure that they are aligned and relevant to the research that you are conducting. So there are different types of research methods. We have quantitative and qualitative methods of research. And for these different types of methods researchers, your instrument should follow the type of method that you are using. So if you are using quantitative research, the instrument you should use and should fall under the classification of these types of research method. It is the same with qualitative. There are also different types of instruments that you can use for quali qualitative research. A research instrument is a tool used to collect data or to gather data. This is the main goal and objective, objective of research instrument. What particular data? Data relevant related to the study, the research that you are conducting. So a good research instrument should have the following characteristics. It should be validated and it should be reliable. So validation and reliability of the instrument is important. In general definition, a research instrument is a tool used to collect data relevant to a study that you are conducting. A good research instrument should be validated and proven reliable. Now, research instrument used in quantitative research. So we have three. Number one, number two, and number three. Number one, we have the standardized instrument. Number two, we have researchers-made instrument. And number three, we have modified standard instrument. A standard instrument, this is a tool used to gather or collect data that has already been used in other studies or other researches created by that particular writer or researcher. So again, standardized instrument has already been used or utilized in other studies. Therefore, this particular instrument has already been validated. Now you found out that the particular instrument is standardized instrument while browsing and looking online is the same. It has the same domain, the same element as the study that you are conducting and you want to use this instrument. Is it possible? The answer is yes. You can use the same instrument, but there are ethical considerations and procedures that you need to follow for you to be able to use the instrument. And the first one is to ask permission from the owner to use the instrument in your studies. And usually, they will allow you to use them. But in some cases, if the, order, if the owner may not reply to your email request, then the panel will uh, decide to use the instrument as long as you have done due process and due diligence in asking permission that the instrument was accepted by the panel to be used. Number two, we have researcher made instrument. Literally, according to the title of this particular instrument, this is an instrument created by the researcher. Since if you did your, your uh, diligence and you were not able to look for similar instrument online relevant to the research that you are conducted, then there is no choice but for that researcher to make their own instrument. In this particular instrument, the researcher should conduct a validation. Number three, we have a modified standardized instrument. And what is this uh, means? What is this mean? If you found an instrument as a standardized instrument that somewhat in other parts matches with the study that you are conducting, but there are other parts that you need to modify in order to align 
the instrument to the study that you are conducting, you need to modify that particular part. So, the standardized instrument will now undergo a specific changes or a minimal changes on other parts of the instrument. And again, the procedure or the process is to ask permission from the owner and then inform the owner of the standardized instrument. That there will be uh, modifications and then you give details of these modifications and after that, you wait for the approval of the owner of the instrument. And then if that has already been approved and you already implemented that modifications, this particular instrument now would have undergo validation. Now, the next one is a research instrument used in quantitative research. We have survey, questionnaires, checklist, and test. Survey questionnaires usually combined with questionnaires, survey usually combined with questionnaires are the most common type of research instrument. This is where scales and tables are included in the instrument in order to measure the response. So, when we talk about quantitative research, this is more on data in the form of numerical values uses scales and tables in order to analyze data. And this is what we call a statistical tool. Checklist is a simple year form wherein there is a question presented and there are options that you can pick at the bottom. So instead of the table form, like it form, when there are contained numbers that you can use in order to identify your response, checklist is more on direct to the point. Additionally, checklist is used for ranking, ordering type of research that you are conducting. Number four test is used for experimental research. So if you are conducting an experimental research which test a particular strategy in teaching, so you would present what we call a pretest or post-test in order to measure the learning outcomes of your respondents. And this is the end of my presentation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Dr.